Good morning. I don't love writing in the morning at all. wanted to go through how I have been able to talk myself to write in the morning. So I am, I don't set an alarm. I just sort of focus on waking up and that way I'm less angry. Most of the time, I don't always remember, but I'll drink a big glass of water before I go to bed. And then I don't put a ton of pressure on myself to actually go do the right. So if I wake up and I feel miserable, like really miserable, then I'll just lay on the couch and that'll be that. And then I'll spend the rest of the day upset that I didn't ride. And that's more motivation for the next time that I should ride. All right, let's get it done. So you know what sucks? Waking up in the morning to go ride. You know what sucks worse? Not doing the things that you want to get done in life. So. There you go. Goals, more important than comfort, then you'll get up and do it. Part of the no pressure deal I tell myself is, even if I'm running late or whatever else, if I just get out for a half an hour, it still counts. And my intention is always to ride in the morning and then ride in the afternoon, so I get a two a day. And that, uh, that seems to really help my fitness a lot. So that's been my, my focus this spring after after getting my talking to from a fellow racer, which was great, I started just focusing on the two-a-day thing. So the morning rides are generally, I always tell myself, are just gonna be really soft pedaling, recovery kind of stuff. Uh, but some of them end up, I get, I feel much better once I get out there and I get going, so. Anyway, today's gonna be really light because that workout, I mean, it was a week ago, but I just was scorched. I can't tell you guys, just let me, try to help you understand how painful this was. So going downstairs was like, I felt like I, what I imagine I'm gonna feel like hopefully when I'm 95, 100 years old. It was just so painful to go downstairs. It was unbelievable. Uh, going up was no treat either, but going down was impossible. And then my daughter, part of her sickness made her joints hurt a lot. So when we finally did pull the trigger to go to the hospital, I had to I had to pick her up and take her downstairs when I was so sore. So I had to <laughs> pick her up, uh, tell her to hope for the best. And then I said, well, I just had to wait till like the adrenaline sort of took over in my body and I could get, get her down the stairs, which, which we did and we made it. So, but it was, we were quite a pair. <laughs> uh, glad she's okay. It's great. It's always great once you get going. It's always great. I don't think it's ever miserable by the time you get home. You feel great, you're energized for the day, you know, all the BS that you know already about working out in the morning. But Morning kids. All right, we're at the top of the tower overlooking uh, Lake Winnebago. And it's a gorgeous day. So let's just review the tips for waking your way up early. Um, go to bed the night before at a reasonable hour. Don't watch your iPad or TV or anything when you lay down in bed. I noticed that lately. I've known that for a long time, obviously, but but actually applying that has made a huge difference. And then I don't set an alarm personally, although it's probably more effective. Uh, I just will myself to wake up 
and then I'll try to drink a big glass of water that will aid in that process uh, right before I go to bed, although I forgot to do that last night. But once you get in the habit of waking up at a designated early time, as long as you're a full-fledged adult, you probably won't have a, time, uh, a hard time sticking to that. Um, put no pressure on yourself to do the ride. So if you do it, great. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. But just know that you're going to spend the rest of the day regretting the fact that you didn't do it. Have your clothing, jacket, whatever else, socks, shoes, bike is ready, lights are on, tires pumped, everything's ready to go so you don't have to mess with around with that. Water bottles are full. Have all that stuff ready the night before. That also mentally prepares you to go for the ride. I found that not having that stuff ready <clears throat> makes saying no 10 times easier. So having that stuff ready to go just makes it easier to say yes. Um, and then a big one to think about is how much improvement your fitness is gonna have by doing these two day workouts. So in the morning, again, no pressure. If you get out for a half hour, that's fine. It's better than no hour. And um, then try to really hit something in the afternoon like your regular workout or do your intervals or whatever the case is. So those two days really fire up your metabolism. Uh, I think mentally it just keeps cycling on the top of your mind more than anything else. So that's also what I found when I was in the hospital for a few days or off the bike for a week is if I'm not riding every day, it gets further and further away from my mind and, and that's not a, it ends up being a not a good place for me to be. So focus on riding every day. That's bad advice. Don't ride every day, but have it on your mind every day and then lay out your plan accordingly with rest days or your training peaks program or whatever the case is so there you go brian davis brian davis races thanks for watching if you like what i had to say today subscribe if you don't like what i had to say today bye bye Done. Told you it felt great. Let's go have a killer day. Okay.